Hi everyone, here is one of the most important interview questions that were asked to me in recent interviews. So the question goes something like this. Here I will be given a multi-dimensional array and we need to convert this multi-dimensional array to a single dimensional array. So here the output for this particular input will be this one. So we kind of have to flatten this array. Now. Let's think of a brute force approach for this particular question. Before proceeding on to the further video, I would highly recommend you to think of your own approach for solving this particular question. So if you are not able to think of an approach or if you thought of an approach, then only proceed on to the further video to check different approaches for solving this particular question. Okay. So here what the brute force approach that I'm thinking of is as this is a multi-dimensional array I can iterate over each and every element of this array okay and if the element of an array is a number then I'm gonna store this particular element in a new array and if the element of an array is an array again then I'm gonna iterate over that array again and I check each and every element and if the element is number I am gonna push it to our new array and if it is an array again then I'm gonna iterate over it again so based on this particular brute force approach I'm thinking that the recursive approach will be an optimal approach for this particular question okay so let me write a code for this particular uh, recursive approach okay first first approach which is recursive okay so here what I'm gonna do is I'll take this array and I'll iterate over it and I'll push elements to a new array okay so here I am gonna take this array and I will reduce it and within reduce I'll kind of accumulate that array and I will check whether whether it's a array or it's an element based on that I will kind of push it into the accumulator if it is an element okay so I check each and every element and if it is not an array okay if it is not an array then I can push this element to our accumulator and if this is an array then I'll have to check that again so which means if it is an array then I'll have to call the recursive function again okay so let's let's uh, take this as flatter numbers So if it is an array then I'll have to call this recursive function again with number as prop. So here numbers. I'm kind of iterating over each and every element and I'm concatenating that element to our accumulator if it is if it is not an array then only and if it is an array then I'm kind of calling the recursive function and I'm again doing this calculation so our initial accumulator will be an empty array and yes so now I'm gonna call this flat numbers function with numbers as our props okay so now I'm gonna save this and now I'm gonna console console this okay so now I give I consoled it q2 .js. so here we can see that the array is totally flattened like the way it should be okay so now we are having a few few more other approaches like second approach okay so in this approach what we can do is we can use the inbuilt methods for solving this question okay uh, numbers dot 
flat this is one method that is inbuilt this particular flat accepts depth parameter okay if this is one it will it will kind of eliminate one array the top array okay if it is two it will kind of try to eliminate this array and this array and if it is three it will kind of removes three layer arrays okay so let me check with this two and show you the output how it will be so it will kind of flatten this array and this array okay so let me show you here if you observe this is flattened till here 1 3 2 8 and then 12 12 is an array again see 3 8 till here it is able to flatten but this one is the third dimensional array so it was not able to flatten it okay so now if we try increasing this number then it will flatten this as well so if the dimensions for this particular array is more then we kind of have to go to the more number so let's suppose if i give infinite here it will kind of flat whole array whatever the number of dimensions for this array would be it will kind of flatten the whole array okay so now let me console it let me run the code so here is the output for this second one as well so if you are familiar with this inbuilt method then we can kind of write the solution for this question easily i'll be trying to cover uh, different other questions that were asked to me in different interviews and and please subscribe to my channel if you like the content thank you